building off the previous graphic, this video we're going to talk a little bit about the different modes that can be applied to layers and actually numerous other elements inside of GIMP. This includes paint brushes, this includes the dodge and burn tool, this includes shape design selections, etc. So to begin, I'm looking at my photo that I made and what I'd like to do is actually generate some shapes to go on top of this. I'm thinking maybe like a light uh, box going up and down and then maybe a bar going across the bottom or maybe shooting out this way. If you've noticed at all, um, GIMP really doesn't give us a shape option. I mean, you've got numerous different brushes going on here. You actually have the tools to work with a shape if you want to, but you really actually don't have a shape tool. That's because we rely on things such as our selection tools to create the shapes themselves. So let me go ahead here. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got the main layer here and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock everything down. I actually don't want to do anything to this watermelon layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer and let's call this side bar shape tell it okay all right so like i said i'm thinking here i'd like to have some sort of bar a little opaque covering this now i'm actually also going to use the eyedropper tool i think i'd actually like to have this be a little bit darker like a little green so i'm going to come over here and pick one of the green colors here as far as the layout goes. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'd like to actually use the color picker tool. I'm thinking we have so much kind of bluish tones and reddish tones. I think I'd actually like to make this bar green. When I set up to pick the color picker, I'm actually going to come down under the tool options here and I'm going to set it as my foreground color. What I'm thinking about is I am going to fill with the foreground color. So I'm going to go ahead here and kind of grab, uh, yeah, you know what, that'll work. I'll, I'll go with a dark green to start out here. And you can see when I clicked, it set the foreground color. Good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead now and grab my selection tool. And I'm just going to make a big selection here right on the edge. I'm going to eyeball this here. Maybe about 300 pixels. There we go. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do an edit with the sidebar shape layer active. And having a selection in place, I'm going to fill with foreground color. Now I can go ahead, if you recall from a previous video here, we can go under select and just set it to none. Now, the color's a little hard here. Fair enough. You have two options here. We could actually go under opacity like we have in previous demos and just take down the opacity. Or we can go right above it here and there's a mode normal with a drop down arrow. And I can come up and these are applied to the entirety of the layer. And what I can do here is I can pick through. So let's say screen. And you see how it affects that bar and you get a whole new effect overlaying on the graphic here. Now, if you want to, you can actually use your middle mouse wheel and it'll just go through each of these. So you can see here like erases a little much, color erases a little much. And I'll often go through these and kind of look at them from a, uh, you know, what might be a good option here. Like that's actually kind of cool. So that's my dark and only. I'm going to keep that in mind. I don't know if I like that multiply. Oh, I don't like that burn either. So you can kind of see these here. I'm not a fan of the distance. Subtract, grain. Oh, I actually like that grain merge, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Because now what I can actually do here is I'm going to go ahead and lock this down now. And I'm going to make one more layer and we're going to call this, let's call this 
horizontal bar. And the same deal here, I'm going to go ahead, maybe about at the 800 marker, just drag across here. And you know what, I'll just keep the same fill color here, I think. So we'll do edit, fill with foreground color, and say none. If I really wanted to, I could go through here. I could kind of choose another, or again, you don't have to use the mode now that we've talked about it here. You could still come in and do, you know, light opacity, stuff like that. So if I wanted to even change this to like about 95, that's fine. Or, you know, sometimes I appreciate the use of opacity, but sometimes having solid bar is great, especially for instance, like if I go ahead and lock this, Maybe I come over under my fonts here. Let's take a look at what I've got here. Kind of like Pristina here. And maybe we'll go ahead. We'll go with kind of a really light green there. And there we go, we'll go with Summer Favorites. Grab the Move tool. And we'll go ahead and lock this layer down too. So that's just taking you through the different color modes, but also showing you how you can make some shapes using the selection tools. I could have gone uh, done an edit fill with background if I wanted to use the fuzzy selection tool, if I wanted to use the scissors or the free selection. But hopefully this gives you some ideas as far as kind of adding a little bit of extra elements and a little bit of uh, layout to your different projects and designs.